Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a graffiti type effect for a wall. You just want to put an image on there without actually going in and UVing it. So first off, I've got a scene here already set up. I've got just a model of some brick wall. And what we're going to do is go into top view. And if you don't know the hotkeys, you should probably go maybe do a different tutorial, some basic starter tutorials first, just so I don't have to explain all the hotkeys. But you're going to add in three, well, depending on how many texts or images, whatever you're adding on to your wall, graffiti wise or just picture wise, how many ever files or pictures you're putting on, that's how many empties you're going to want on. I have three, so I'm going to add in three empties. So space add empty. Grab them. Just move it out of the way. Space add empty. Space add empty. <clears throat> now, I want each of these to have the Z axis pointing at the wall. There is the axis. So I'm going to select all of them, rotate on the X axis 90 degrees. So all of these are pointing at the wall, which is exactly what we want. Okay, next, I'm going to select our object and go into its textures. Actually, first I'm going to name my empties. Just empty one, empty two, and empty three. Okay, now go select your uh, wall again. Go into the texture tab. Gonna go add image. Load up your first image or your only image, whatever you have. I have three, like I said. That's my image. I'm just doing some simple fault. When you open up your image, it's gonna have repeat selected. You don't want that selected. I'm gonna select clip. And then go to the material buttons. Map input, hit object. This will be my first one. Oh, mother. Alright, well, go to object and type in empty one. And if I render this right now, you should see, yes, you should see the Blender logo on there. Alright, as you can see the Blender logo, or text, I mean, not logo, is applied on there. Alright, um, well, I originally wanted that to, okay, never mind, let's try use alpha and see if that'll work. I was trying to, okay, that's what I wanted. My edge is a PNG, so I have an alpha channel on it. To keep it from having a background and at first it scared me because I thought that wasn't gonna work but I guess use alpha wasn't selected I thought it was select selected automatically as default but no alright so that's working so, uh, now we're gonna add another image add new image and since I have three I'm gonna open up my next one and okay here's my next one this is just my name on uh, forum.nistic.com. It's my username. Make sure use alpha is on, clip is on. Go back to its map input. And for object, put empty two. Make sure object is selected. And while we're at it, we'll just add in my last texture. This one just says rock and roll. Make sure clip is on. And empty three. And make sure object is selected. Now let's render this. Alright. So already you can see that the each image is directed by each of our empties. And you can actually move around your empties, you can scale them stuff like that you are uh, I guess I am getting a little bit of uh, white showing up 
don't know why, but oh well, I mean, your image isn't necessarily going to have white around it, but mine is right now, I don't know why, maybe it's just screwing up. But anyways, let's uh, just scale each of our empties up. You can also rotate them. So I'm going to select my first one that's in Blender. I'm going to scale it up and rotate it. Grab my other one because this one was really small. And it's my name, so we're going to size that one up. Let's see if they overlap. Good. And let's render this. Oh, wow, those are really big. Well, I mean, at least uh, you get the idea of it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, well, it actually, it turns out pretty good. I mean, it's it's doable. And if I would zoom in really close, you can actually see that it's going in the cracks, which at least I believe it is. It should because this is all one mesh. I just have this cube layout with a plane in the back all in one mesh. Yeah, well, I mean, it's hard to tell, but it is actually going into on the plane as well. So it's actually, if you have curves, it'll follow with the curve and all that. Now, say I wanted this to only show on the bricks and not my plane in the back. All I would do is set it as a different material and have it that material only be affected by the textures. But on this case, the plane and background and the bricks both have the same textures, so they're both gonna be affected by it. So that being said, uh, I mean that's pretty much it. You can just tinker around, rotating them and stuff like that, placing your uh, images wherever you want, just getting the right feel for what you want. You can do this with images, and I believe you can do it with videos as well. There's another tutorial on um, a projector screen, which has basically the same concept, using an empty as an image, and then we just added in a halo light to get the feel of the projector screen shooting out onto it but yeah let's run this one more time that'll be it okay like you can see they go along with the rotations and all that scaling anything you do to the empty you're gonna affect the text or the image that you place onto the wall and that's pretty much it i hope you uh, enjoy this tutorial i mean hopefully it's helpful to you and uh if you got any questions on it i know it's not really that hard but you can go to uh forum.nistic.com and you can contact me on here if i'm on or you can just leave me a message or if you want you can just post a question up in general but there's also uh, finished works finished projects and works in progress so if you got a project that you're working on you need some help just come and sign up and uh, just post it in works in progress and you'll probably get some help pretty quick or some ideas or feedback on it stuff like that but Hopefully this tour was helpful and um, hopefully you learned something. So good luck on your Blender projects and yeah, that's about it.